Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and this is Heart and Hand Creations and Events. Welcome back guys. It's good to be here and I hope that all is well with everyone and um, health wise, mentally wise, physically wise. I hope that all is well and for me it is the afternoon. So good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time of the day is. Welcome again. So guys, today, as you see in the title, I am doing a collaboration with someone who looked, looked me up and I was more than happy to help out. So if you guys want to see what that is about, stay tuned, don't go anywhere, and I'll be back in two seconds. All right, guys, here it is. We have... This is what he came to me with. A Hennessy bottle that he has managed to make a lamp out of. And this light bulb, guys, is actually, it's a light bulb and it's a Bluetooth. And it has the remote to change the colors. Um, I don't have the remote, but later I will demonstrate. Um, uh, well, I'll show you how the light comes on. And it's out the way. So, as you see, he drilled a hole in the back. He has this cord. He strung it up. I don't know what he used to seal the top of it. Some kind of type of silicone, maybe. Clear silicone. But anyway, this is what I'm collaborating with. And what he needed is a lampshade. He tried it. And the lampshade that he made didn't quite work for him. So I came up with this. Now, you know, that these are the wire baskets from the Dollar Tree. And this was, uh, it doesn't even matter what color it was, but this was white. And I spray painted this one gold. But what I did first was took and cut the rim out. I mean, cut the bottom out. I cut out the bottom. And I spray painted it because I looked at the bottle and I said, well, we got metallic gold and cream or ivory, a very dark uh, cream or ivory color. So I said, great, metallic gold, metallic spray paint. So guys, since I've already started it, uh, what I'm going to do is apply a few more coats of paint because this is only the one coat. And then I figured out how to put the um to make the 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 lamp be able to sit still on top i applied two uh heavy duty wires that fit across and i just looped and curled the tip across the top there as you can see i'm going to use the epoxy glue to put a ring right here so that the lampshade will be able to sit on top like this nice and even and it'll go on like that and i'm going to use the epoxy glue which is made for glass and metal i usually use it for just glass for a permanent hold but i'm going to use this gorilla glue epoxy and you know what y'all dollar tree had one too of this let me see hold on let me see if i can find it where is it here it is it's the super glue epoxy supposed to be a five minute set yeah clear dries clear so i was like oh i'm gonna get it i bought two of them And you have to squeeze it out together at the same, I mean, it has to be an even squeeze, which that's hard to do because one side always squeezes out before the other side does. So once you get it mixed together, you see it's clear and a little yellow. One side is yellow, one side is clear. One side is the hardener. I don't know which one it is. Mix it up real good. Some here. 
and this side mm. I put the glue on the uh, apply, I'm applying glue on the actual rods and I put some on the piece of uh, the washer what I need with this So I can put this in place without my hands touching. There. I didn't even measure. Make sure it's two and a quarter on this side. And push it in a little bit more. Two and a quarter on this side. Make sure it's even. Let this dry for about an hour, and we'll be and I'll be back to spray paint it. guys I'm back and this took most of the afternoon because I wanted to make sure it was drying pretty well I did have a fan on it and this is what it's looking like this is about three coats of uh, gold paint and two coats of that Mod Podge acrylic sealer this looks like inside there give you a close up Yep. Yeah. So at this point, I have to give it a more finished look. I have some options here. You know me. I like to have more than enough options for ideas. So what I thought about, because I don't know, you know, if a man or a female is going to buy it, but if it was more a, a man, I guess, this brown leather right here. I also have um, a more of a cognac color, and it's not even leather. This is from Dollar Tree, y'all. This is the faux leather. So it was either this or the darker brown, but I would think the darker brown if I choose to use that. And what I'm going to use it for is trim around the top and the bottom, just to give just to give it a, a finished look. Like I said, the out the other option to keep it fabulous was to use to were to use these pearl wrap and again that would go around the top and the bottom and the last option which I think I might keep it keep it a little fabulous is to use this glitter ribbon the gold glitter ribbon and Again, it will go around like this. And what I'm going to do is bring it down and around, all the way around. Like that. So it doesn't take away from the wire. Alright, so. Measure out the circumference here. And, uh. 
just doing the eyeball thing and I'm going to cut this here and what I'm going to use is hot glue which I didn't plug up yet because I wasn't sure if I was going to use hot glue or not but to make it hold um, I'm going to do the hot glue so once this gets hot enough I'll begin putting the ribbon on and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So what I had to do is split the top because this is straight and this is round. I had to split the top so that when I go around the edge, it won't be so bulky, you know. So I will be starting from the back and the way I know it's the back. Remember, for those of you who saw my dress form video, I told you that the back, I always use the back, um, the back side of the basket for me or the uh, project is where the wires overlap. Now up here, it's perfect. But as it came down further, you can see where the, where it's overlapped. So that's where I start and that's how I put the the um, thick wires across, matching and lining up with the um, overlapping of the material here, of the wire. Okay guys, to make it a little better, I put notches in it so when I fold this down, it'll fall in place as it goes, goes around circles. So it won't be so lumpy because I started noticing how it was starting to look a little lumpy lumpy and this is what I'm doing I'm putting glue on the rigid side the ridge side and the flat side and I'm just going around And then I pinch the ridges down or the dart, the darted ends. I push down. And this is the look that I am trying to achieve all the way around. Like I said, to give it a finished, a more finished look instead of just plain, you know, it's a plain wire basket, so I'll finish gluing this around, guys, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. This is what it's looking like, guys. The inside needs to be um, not adjusted, but a little more glue to lay lay these pieces down right here. To make it more flush all the way around on the inside. Like this part right here is fine. But over here I need to do a little little work on it. But other than that, this is the look that I was trying to achieve. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. Be right back. And here is the finished result, guys. And all this time we were going, I didn't get to mention who I was doing the collaboration with. Oh, his Instagram channel you can find at King Boo Pock. You'll see it on the screen, K-I-N-G-B-O-O-P-A-C. Oh, and you see another bottle back there? I'm going to do something with that bottle also, but I don't have enough material to do what the plan is. And I showed you guys how this is how he put the hole. I don't know how he got the hole in the glass, but you would have to check out his um, Instagram to find that out. So, yeah, guys, this is it. And if you like 
which you've seen on my channel, the content that I was put in today. Give me that thumbs up for a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And share, guys, because I heard that sharing is caring. Oh, and hit that notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will know. And don't forget to check out my people on Instagram. He does so many things, guys. You will have to go to his channel to see. He helps you get your credit back on track. He does wall murals. He's in class now to learn how to make um, electronic boards so that he can make his own um, remote control car. Oh, yeah. He does a lot. So if you guys are interested in that or curious, go check him out. Oh, yeah. Very talented brother. And I appreciate him. All right, guys. So if you like what you saw today, again, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share. Oh, and comment below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will know. All right, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.